So in today's video, I'm going to show you that how we can hack into JWT applications by brute forcing their secret key. But before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you that how we can hack into WordPress applications to get more bounties, then yeah, go ahead and check that out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Now, if you are new to our channel and if you don't know about our website, which is bepractical.tech, then you are missing a lot of things. Just go and type bepractical.tech on your browser and you will see a website which looks like this. Right. So over this website, we have awesome labs related to cybersecurity and web development, as well as we have some contents related to uh, these topics, as you can see over here, like best hacking operating systems, like this is open redirection, like file upload vulnerabilities and all of this good stuff. Right. If you see on the web development content, we have implementing JSON web tokens. Right. So you need to know at least how JWT works in order to hack into it, basically. Right. So go ahead and check this out. The website, the link will be given in the description. And now the main important part of our website is the cybersecurity lab section, where we have awesome labs related to cybersecurity, currently account takeover labs, where you will learn that how hackers can actually hack into someone's account by the misconfiguration of the web application, right? So these, these, uh, all of these labs are based on real world scenarios. So go ahead and improve your bug bounty as well as cybersecurity skills. Now coming back to the video, let's get started. Now, in the previous two videos, we have solved these particular, uh, the Shinigami and the Void, right? Now, we are going to solve the Paradox Lab. Which lab? This lab, we need to brute force the JWT token key, right? Now, brute forcing JWT token can only happen if the application is using HS256 or HS512 algorithm, right? Apart from that, if, if, it, if it is using uh, RS256 or RS512, then brute forcing is very, very complex. Now, the first thing that you need to do, always check all those functionality, those functionality which are uh, directly or indirectly dealing with the authentication flow, right? So we have three functionalities. Of course, we have the login functionality, we have the registration functionality, and we have the forgot password functionality. <coughs> Sorry. Now, what we are going to do, first of all, we are going to create an account. So let me create mine real quick. Let's say, oh, Spider-Man at the rate be practical dot tech and the password will be batman batman now let's click on register <coughs> now we are registered successfully let's go ahead and click on login and let's login into our account let's just wait for a few seconds so i think the okay the email was be practical dot tech sorry now let's click on sign in and I think we'll be logged in. Of course. Yeah, as you can see, we successfully got logged in. And now this lab was hacked only two times, which means that many of you guys consider this lab as a very difficult one. So we are going to see that how we can solve this. So, <coughs> sorry. First of all, let me open my burp suit. And yeah, by the way, uh, I have currently two courses running. So the first one is hacking Windows with Python, where you will learn that how hackers can actually hack into Windows machine by creating their own tools using uh, Python and all these tools will be fully undetectable by any antivirus till now. So we can bind payload with any file which means any PDF, any uh, video file etc. We can execute cell commands, download and upload files and we can even access webcams and if you uh, uh, go through all the contents in this course at the end of this course you will also get an idea to how to create your own custom uh, customization custom implementation in this particular payload so that you can make it more advanced now the second interesting course that i'm currently running on udemy is the bug bounty course on the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers so yeah go ahead and check that check this out if you want to learn about how we can hack into uh, how we can hack any account if there's a misconfiguration on the web application to get more bounties right so we'll learn general over the overview idea we'll analyzing functionality behavior in depth we'll see different ways to find account takeovers and we'll also see real cases of, of account takeovers on live applications now let's jump back to our video so i think my burp has been started let me just start it real quick uh, let me just close this So here we are, now we have our burp running. Just let me go here and just let me select burp suite and let me just hit enter again so that we can see if there is an error or not. <coughs> yeah, so we are successfully logged in. Let us uh, log out and let us try to log in again and see the behavior 
So first of all, we are going to analyze the login functionality. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, specify the email address that we have created and let's specify the password. Let's just sign in. <coughs> yeah, so as you can see, here we are. Now let's intercept the response. And in the response, we got a uh, 500 internal server error. Maybe we are providing a wrong password. Maybe let me just specify the password again. Let's log in. Here we are. Let's just intercept the response. Yeah, so as you can see, if the password is right, then we are assigned with a JWT token, right? So let's just forward this and uh, let me just turn off the interrupt. Yeah, as you can see, we got logged in. And now, if I refresh this page, uh, so we should get something interesting, maybe. Yeah. So here we are. Uh, oh, so we got missed. We need to <laughs> intercept it once again. Yeah, so here we are. No, 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 this is not it. We need to look for this endpoint profile.php. Here it is. Let's send this to repeater and let us analyze this very well. Now, <coughs> in the cookie parameter, as you can see, we have the JWT token, right? Over here. Because these are separated with two dots, right? And the starting is from EY. Now, EY, if you see any string that starts with EY, there's a possibility, uh, I consider it a huge possibility that the particular text is encoded in base64. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just click on send so that we can see if this is the request. Yeah, I think it is. <coughs> and now, the tool that we are going to use in order to brute force the secret key is none other than JWT tools. So to download JWT tools, we can just type, uh, don't worry, the link will be given in the description for you guys, but we'll see how we can use the JWT tool. So to brute force is basically, here we have the tool and this tool is very awesome. If you are uh, hunting for vulnerabilities in JWT applications, this tool will help you a lot because this will test for these many of exploits, right? and this can uh, scan for misconfiguration this can first this can test the validity this can identify the weak keys and so many things right so just copy this link and we are going to clone it into our local machine so i'm just going to go open my kali linux and let me clear this let me create a directory kdir uh, bug bounty Bug bounty section and now let's clone this file so we can type git clone and let's paste this and as you can see the tool has been cloned and let us try to install this now let's type ls and here it is the setup.txt let me see what this is how we can install it yeah so we need to type this in our machine I'm just gonna copy this and let's paste it over here Oh, sorry, didn't want to copy it. Copy this and let's paste it. Okay, and now I think we are good to go. If I type, so I think we need to run this file. Let's type Python JWT tools. Hit enter. <coughs> okay. So I think our tool has been compiled successfully, right? As you can see over here. Now let us see the features that this tool has to offer. We have minus P flag, I don't know what this is. Minus T for the target URL, minus RC to specify our own cookies, minus RH for the request headers, post data, 
canary value uh, minus np minus nr minus m for the mod minus x for checking exploits uh, minus ju for jwks urls minus s for sign so this is private key this is payload value this is password this is dictionary and this is c okay so this minus c flag may be used to perform the dictionary attack let us see now first of all let us copy the token that we got over here right let me just copy this and let me just paste the token directly over here and let's see what happens as you can see it successfully decoded the token right and it is showing the type is jwt the algorithm that is being used is hs512 and this is the body value so we got our email address spiderman at the rate bpractical.tech uh, and we got some issues the expiration date etc right now let us try to see that whether we can brute force the secret key or not so let me just clear this and <coughs> now to brute force it what we can do we can just check the functionality check the features that how we can brute force it by seeing the different flags so we can type python3 jwt uh, tools.py let's paste the token over here and minus c this one and we can specify minus p for the dictionary and minus p i guess this will work okay so this file is expecting a dictionary right so we can actually pass a dictionary in it so let's see uh here we have common headers common payloads jwt common so let me just go ahead and check jwt commons real quick maybe this contains some passwords yeah okay let me just clear this and if you come back here after minus t we can specify jwt commons dot txt and let's hit let's hit and enter and let's see what happens okay so it's expecting a password so i'm just going to get rid of that let's hit enter okay and as you can see <coughs> we got the secret key over here right so it is showing that secret is the correct key right which means that we finally got the key that is being used to uh, encode the signature right and now we can use this particular tool to this uh, particular key to do whatever we want we can now hack into anyone's account because we know the secret key right so let us do that now uh, let me just open a website over here which is jwd.io let's just wait and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna copy this the whole jwd token and i'm gonna paste it over here right so it is showing me this and now we are going to hack into the admins account and to hack into admins account what we can do basically is we can just get rid of the our email to the admins account admin at the rate be practical dot tech right and now here as you can see over here we need to pass the secret key which was nothing but a secret right so you can just type secret right and as you can see we got the jwt token now we can copy this token and let us see whether this token is working or not right so let us see it real quick so let me just go back to login <coughs> let me specify my email address and let's specify the password right and uh, let us just intercept this request and now in the jwt let us paste the jwt that we have malformed right and let us just forward this and let's see what happens after that whether we'll be logged in okay as you can see perfectly we were able to log in into the account which means that we were successfully able to find the secret key and we were able to abuse this particular functionality right so i hope you have understood that how we can hack into jwt applications by abusing by brute forcing the secret key and yeah so this is it go ahead and test out your skill test out this lab and see if it works for you or not and comment down if you have any issues at all right and <coughs> by the way do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies 
that are going in cyber security as well as web development the link is in the description as well as you can see it on the screen right here so yeah go ahead and join and let's meet there now with that being said if you guys have any doubts if you guys have any issues then please let me know in the comment section again and finally thanks for watching